if there's one thing that Stargate Atlantis taught us, it's that the ancients were complete dumbasses. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So when the international expedition first arrived at Atlantis, they were full of wonder. Well, no, initially they were full of, oh my God, we're all going to drown. But once that was all sorted, they were full of wonder. It was a city of miracles. It was a city ship that in lots of ways shouldn't have existed. It had the power and it held so many secrets that they just boggled with the anticipation of walking through each and every door. They found many, many dangers in that city. Constantly. Almost through every door almost in every cupboard. And it really did shine a light on just how stupid the ancients were. Or perhaps maybe the correct word is arrogant. No, stupid too. I'm going to go with stupid. Why do I say that? Well, one big problem is they don't seem to be able to turn anything off. The ancients were not driven out of the city like last minute. They weren't, oh my God, all, oh my God, oh my God, we're all going to die. Just get through the gate as quickly as possible. They evacuated the city. They decided to sink the city ship, hide it and leave for Earth. They did have time to turn the damn lights off. They definitely had time to turn all the potentially catastrophic killing machines off. In every bloody room the SG Atlantis crew went through, they found something else that tried to kill not just them, but everybody. Rodney and Shepard were playing that computer game thing where it was actually controlling entire species off-world. Loads of them. The ancients didn't turn it off. They could have hung a sign at least saying, don't play with this, it's not a game. Over here, when we bury nuclear waste, there's actually quite a lot of effort put into the thought that in 10,000 years, somebody might dig this up. In that case, we need to make sure that, you know, it's dangerous. The ancients never even crossed their mind that the humans that they left on Earth might at some point learn how to use the Stargates and travel to Atlantis. Actually, anybody could have traveled to Atlantis. What if the gold had turned up? And they left everything pretty much turned on. How many times did Rodney accidentally turn on something in the SGU corridor or room that then either turned him into a superhuman and nearly killed him, turned everybody into ghosts and nearly killed everybody, released a sort of nanobot ghost thing or some other thing, or, or created a bloody replicator? I know that ended up going quite well, but nanoviruses, plagues, everything. That bloody city was full to the brim of dangerous stuff. And there wasn't even a warning sign or an off switch. At no point did the ancients seem to consider the possibility that the city would ever be inhabited by somebody else. How about if the Janai had found it or any other human race? They were lucky, really, that it was us. What if a Jaffa expedition had come across the location of Atlantis by accident and the Gold World may have had a ZPM and they could have gone? If the gold world had got into that city, particularly with their intelligence, imagine the absolute crap show they could have created back here in our own galaxy. Imagine the power they would have wielded. They wouldn't have been worried about the Asgard anymore. The shield technology alone would have been them vastly superior. But nothing was guarded. The Atlantis expedition turned up, plugged a bunch of laptops in and cracked on. They didn't need to break any special security measures. They didn't need to do anything. The ancients didn't even lock the damn door. They could have left the shield running on the actual Stargate. They didn't even do that. I know, a lot of this technology could only be activated if you happen to have the gene, the ancients activation gene. So that is the protection in theory. The problem is loads of people have got it. The ancestors of the ancients have all got it. And I don't know if ever you've ever noticed, but not all humans are actually good or even remotely intelligent. A lot of us are quite cruel, quite sadistic and quite stupid. So any of those humans with that gene could have activated this technology. And how hard do you really think it would have been for the gold 
to figure out how to circumvent that. Now, I know the Wraith never did, but the Gorwald had a lot more experience with humans and actually a little bit more knowledge about the Ancients. They would have been able to probably quite quickly circumvent the whole gene thing technology. So that safety measure really isn't that safe. Now, how many times even in SG-1 did Colonel O'Neill or somebody else stick their heads in a wall that was glowing, something you should never do, and then basically have the entire ancient knowledge downloaded into their brain or find some sort of weather device that could change time or something else? The Furlings left behind loads of technology. They were no better than the ancients in lots of ways, but the ancients had millions of years to learn how to put in an off button. They had ages before having to evacuate the city to at least turn things off or make them inert, destroy a lot of the experiments that Wraith could have found the ancient city of Atlantis at any point. They could have figured out how to get around the technology or at very least just by looking at it learned an awful lot. That would have really been a massive problem for the Pegasus galaxy. The Atlantis should have been destroyed. When the Atlanteans left for Earth, I don't think they ever had any intention of coming back. They should have scuttled the city, but they didn't. Why? So the story could happen. But also possibly because they were just so arrogant and so stupid, it never even occurred to them to do it. So, yeah, in my opinion, the ancients were dumbasses. It did make for a brilliant show because they were dumbasses. So guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Is it just brilliant that they were so stupid and left so much technology lying around? It was lucky for the show. It made it way more interesting. Or actually, is it a bit of a logical leap that any of this would have happened? Or that they wouldn't have actually cleaned up after themselves and, you know, maybe destroyed a few of those experiments instead of leaving them just ticking over? I don't know what you think, but I think, yeah. Get into the comments, though, and tell me. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack, where most of our new videos appear first. And for a small contribution each month, you get to see those videos without the adverts. And you even get a free gift. Can't say fairer than that. Also, go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated sci-fi website, where you get to see articles written about most of our videos. And... I try to add a little bit more detail for you to sink your teeth into. As always, please stay safe. And I'll see you next time.